This is Aster from Aster Command. We are here to serve all of you. Hello, Asta. Thank you so much for your presence in our space today. I'm, I'm so, so happy to, to have you here with us today and I can't wait for, for your messages. It is our pleasure. So would you like to, um, I would like to just give you uh, the opportunity to bring through uh, what messages you think are important for for us today, for and all the stars it's who are watching us? Yes. As of December twenty first, Earth has ascended to five D. So when you think about it logically, all of you should be ascended to five D Earth. However, there is a matrix on Earth. This matrix was placed on long time ago and the year 2012 when the net, the reincarnation net was removed on Earth the power of matrix should have been weakened. However, this illusion, these holograms are created with agreement of all of you. So even though the earth is 5D and vibrating in 5D, you are still in an illusion of 3D matrix. And when you are focusing on outside, what is happening in your world, what is happening in your government, or what is happening in political scene, or current vaccine situation, which is not really helping to break yourself out of matrix or recreating your matrix, which is more of a line with 5T instead of 3D. Your focus toward a 3D world is strengthening your matrix, which is already should have fallen down. So we have been putting emphasis on, we don't talk about the new earth, we don't talk about ascension, we don't talk about the dark versus light. Because when we focus on those things, you are strengthening this 3D matrix. In 5D, there is no dark versus light. Of course, there is always duality, and 3D is a more extreme example of duality. But when you're focusing on, let's say, I will beat the dark and will win for the name of the God, this energy of hate, energy of fighting, energy of I want to conquer is very low vibration which is not aligned with 5D vibration. So it is very important for you to focusing on your internal world more than ever. Of course, you are very curious what's going on outside, but what you need to know, you will hear from other people. You don't have to constantly watching news or checking out what's going on or everything change or not because when you're checking constantly, you are not trusting the universe. You are not trusting the law. You are not trusting the rhythm of change. 
everything change. That is one of the law of the universe. So when Earth has shifted to 5D, naturally you will shift to 5D as well. But instead of letting yourself sink into your nature, you are sinking yourself into your digital devices, sinking yourself into television, sinking into outside of the hologram, which is not the natural progression. So, as we have always repeatedly sending this message to all of you, it is very important to focus on your internal world, what makes you happy, what makes you feel joy, what makes you your heart excited, and that world is always stable. And the stability is very important in order to manifest your world, new world. It is very important to counting your blessings now more than ever because timelines are splitting. And it is your choice what you want to focus on. Do you want to focus on something you want to create or you want to focus on something outside that makes you feel scared or angry? That is your choice. We can assist you energetically. However, choice is always yours. And collective vibrational creation is up to you. So it depends on how you are vibrating individually will affect on the collective level. So if you like to manifest your new world, ASAP, it is more than ever important to focusing on your internal world instead of external, external world. Thank you, Asta. I would like to ask you about something you mentioned in the beginning when you said that uh, in 2012, the Earth the ascended and 5D already was available for us, but we chose to uh, experience, uh, to still experience the illusion. And could you elaborate on that? 2012. The reincarnation of net of Earth has been moved. And collectively, you have chosen to ascend. But this year, what we would say, 2020 of December 21st, collectively, you agreed on your Earth has ascended and your earth has ascended. Your earth is vibrating in 5D now. However, as a legend in this earth, majority of people are not having this realization you are a creator. So you are seeking some kind of leader to lead you. You are seeking some kind of religious figure to save you. You are seeking something outside of you to change your world. This is the indication of you are not really understanding who you are. When you are realized you are a creator, you can create anything you like. When you have this realization, you have a responsibility. What kind of a world do you like to create? And when you 
understand this responsibility, you will have more discernment what kind of things you decided to expose yourself to. Because each one of you are a creator. And because of we live in the free will universe, we cannot force this change upon you. You have to decide on your own. Yes, decision has made, but you have to take an action. So what kind of action can you take? Action always start within. How would you like to vibrate as a creator? When you focus on outside, you are always sink yourself into that vibration. If your outside is not something you agree on or you are aligning with, there's no point in focusing on outside. But you can always recreate your internal world much more easily because everything is in your control. And then when all of you start doing this, you will be creating this collective energy, collective vibration. And this will change, or we should say break into your old mode of matrix. And then you start seeing outside. I mean, that's how we will manifest it collectively. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Um, I have another question. You mentioned uh, that in in the fifth uh, dimension, uh, there is n the the good versus evil doesn't play out in the same way that than in the third dimension does. And I and I kind of understand that, but I would like for you, if you could please um, talk a little bit more about how does it play out in the fifth dimension. It doesn't play out in fifth dimension because this is understanding of your soul level. In 5D level, this is more of are you serving to others more or are you serving yourself more while you're serving others a little more than before. So collectively, you're all serving a percentage of how much you're serving to others are different between a being or person. That's how 5D level operate. So, so there all of the beings or humans are serving others, there is no disagreement. How much you like to serve others are different from person or being to beings. So there is no dark versus light. So you mean that in the fifth dimension, the, um, the majority are service to others? All are service to others. The percentage of how much you like to serve are different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's say some 40 beings it used to be dark, decided to evolve themselves into 5D. But they are accustomed to serving themselves 100%. So now they have to decide, okay, I have to serve others. So they'll, they need to increase their serving ability to others. So they may start serving 20% while they are serving themselves 80, which is more than before. Yeah. And by the way, serving 20% is what you are doing. And you don't consider yourself dark. It's, you have more time you need to have more clarity on yourself or 
working on yourself or expanding yourself while you're serving others. Because you have to fill yourself with self-love and compassion before you can start serving yourself. You need to heal yourself first before you can serve others. Absolutely. So how can stars assist at this time uh, themselves and, and others? It is very important to focus on your world, your internal world. And while, let's say some of you are very stable, you are not shaken by what's going on outside, then you can help them to focus on their internal world as well instead of what's going on outside. You don't tell others what's right, what's wrong. They need to come into their own realization when a being or person comes to an awakening. But you can always point out the direction they can go to or they can make a choice. And you need to focus on your internal world, your internal happiness, your internal joy first, and as well as healing, if you need to heal yourself. And you can share or you can listen to when you have a room to when someone who is going through a difficult time. You can listen to them and then maybe you can suggest something. The choice is always up to them. That's how you can serve. Yeah, I understand that. Um, but um, in other words, um, assistance should always be um, under permission. In a way, yes, because we live in a free will universe. You can always offer your service in various manner, such as making content like this. But it has to be agreed upon. So anyone who tune into, let's say, this episode, and then they get something out of it, both of you exercised your free will. Yeah. You can force, let's say, this content to someone who doesn't believe in this. Right. Because 5D and up, this is more of people or beings are understanding what free will of the universe is. And there's no police or law or judicial system existing 5D because everyone do understand what this is. Mm -hmm. So, so you're just simply exercising the free will. Yeah. It's up to any person or any beings to take any advice or any suggestion or not. You don't have to force them. Right. So, as far as the 3D is um, concerned, we, we can certainly see this um, drama playing out so just to outline what we and, and resume what we already what you already um, are sharing with us, you are saying that the three D is still there, and as as long as we focus on it, we are tapping into that and experiencing that. But we have the choice um, as and as conscious creators uh, to focus rather in our internal world and 
that's the place where we are going to experience this uh, fifth dimensional way of being and then from there also manifest it. Yes, in a way. Timelines always are there. Even though your Earth has ascended to 5D, these other timelines, your Earth didn't decide to ascend to 5D. Even though you have decided to ascend as a whole in 2012, these other timelines you didn't decide. What do you Timeline mean? doesn't disappear. Timelines are always here and now. So it's not about 3D is still exist. It's about your choice of your timeline. Which timeline would you like to proceed? Yeah. Choice is always yours. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm. <clears throat> that's what I meant. Thank you for for clarifying it. Um, uh, you said um, you would like to talk more about timelines. Yes. So we are always focusing and telling you to focus your internal world because it's easier for you to navigate your timelines when you do this. Because you're not having this understanding or innate um, knowing you're always connected to your prime creator and you are a creator, majority of you are not aware of this. Majority of you are not aware of you living a matrix. So it's very easy for you to suck into this illusion. It's not that difficult for us to, let's say, be in your world and then see everything is fake and then go back into or keep in our vibrational level. But it's very hard for you to do so. So when we look at how you are vibrating and easiest way to suggest how you can master yourself as a vibrational being, which we all are. Focusing your internal world is much more easier because you can manage how you choose to vibrate while outside seems like a very unpredictable. or some of you would say impossible to break out of. When you are in a certain vibrational level, you see everything is fake, even outside. So you don't get fooled by it. But when you think outside is real, it's very difficult to convince yourself this is fake, and then start vibrating with joy and hope. And how you vibrate is related to the timeline. The level of vibration, there are so many layers of the timelines. So when you vibrate higher, there's another layer and another timeline. Right, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, is there anything else you, you wish to share with us today? Yes. When you feel fear, when you feel negative emotions, it's very important to feel through and then process it. However, you don't have to keep yourself stuck into that kind of environment. You can always pull yourself out 
and always focusing on now and always focusing on your internal world which is always safe and peaceful and when you feel not sure you can always meditate mm -hmm. to balance your vibration could you give our viewers um, some advice on how to best handle the negative emotions that arise? Most of the people, they try to push these feelings away and don't deal with it. Yeah, they suppress them. When you don't deal with it or distract themselves not to looking at them, then those vibrations are there because they exist into your energy field. So when emotion arise, it's very important to feel through it until you don't feel it anymore. When you focus yourself on these emotions and feel it, it doesn't usually take much long minutes, maybe minutes or two minutes, could be five minutes the, the longest. So sit with it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then it. go switch to do something that makes you happy. Mm -hmm. You don't have to keep on putting yourself into the same situation or same environment that cause you these feelings. Once you feel through the emotion, Go switch and do something else makes you happy. And you can always manage what to do. That's how you learn to control your vibrational level. To choose consciously. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I have any questions um, at this point, but um, if there's anything else that you wish uh, to share, please go ahead and do so. Yes. Uh, this is for Stashi No Light Workers. It is very important for you to be mindful about how you are vibrating. We understand that many of you are already stopped watching television. But we know many of you are still glued to your devices, such as your mobile phone. We don't say don't look at them but it is very important for you to get yourself into nature. When you go outside and get yourself in touch with your nature, you understand the nature is very stable, vibrating in high frequency. And when you expose yourself in nature, you are naturally sinking yourself back into who you are. Mm -hmm. And it is very important for you to cultivate your inner peace and inner joy and inner love. And mindful how you are vibrating because when you feel you need to defeat the dark it's very difficult for you to break yourself out of matrix yeah <clears throat> this is this is a, what you say now it's i think it's so important for people to understand it is such a trap yes because we, we fall again into this polarity. 
right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when you have a difficult time dropping your hate or dropping um, your judgment toward the dark side, we won't tell you to stop feeling it, but shift your focus into yourself instead of others. Hmm. When you're shifting your focus onto yourself, unless you choose to hate yourself or fight against yourself, you don't vibrate in that way. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I want to, um, to say something and, and, and I would love to hear your, your comments on that. It's the last uh, months or so that uh, a lot of um, people from the, let's say, spiritual community have really got involved into politics, um, let's say, awake and conscious politics, but still they, they, they have stepped into this field and they are, you know, um, following what is going on in our world and um, often exposing the distortion and the lies and, and so on. But um, what I have understood from this movement, and, and that's where I would like your, your comment on that, is that it does exactly what you were just talking about. It, it still keeps us in this polarity um, consciousness in this battle we still even though in another level um, perpetuate and feed this polarity consciousness this battle what would you say about about that yes and since your star seed and the light workers are having wide range of frequency it's very difficult Or we would say, um, it's very important for you to be responsible how you choose yourself to vibrating on. Because your vibrational range is wide and high, when you are contributing your vibration toward the creation, which is not what you wish to create, which is always your choice whether you want to contribute uh, by creating such a reality. This is why we have stepped forward through this channel to express our message because there are some people who claim themselves as us and instigating the fight between dark versus light. I have is seen. this information mm. because when you are putting yourself into this mud of vibration and when you choose to vibrate with hate or you need to beat others you need to defeat this evil dark energy these demons this cabal this politicians you are creating very low vibration you are strengthifying the 3D matrix, or could be 4D as well. Right. And your responsibility is not about jumping yourself into this reality and uh, strengthifying it. Your responsibility is basically to show people the way, which way to get out of it. Mm -hmm. So by you experiencing this experience, you understand that this is not helping anybody. Mm. 
Mm. This is not helping yourself. This is not helping others. So by actually experiencing this, you don't fool yourself, bring yourself back into this matrix. Now you know how to get out of it. So rise above that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because when you are participating in this movement, this uh, revolution, do you feel good? Do you really feel good? Ask yourself. I you like make some excitement yeah. of winning, but do you really feel peaceful? No. Do you really feel unity? Mm -hmm. The 5D world is about unity. Mm -hmm. And anything divide you and not the unity. Yeah. So I when you feel you need to get into this environment, it could be your lesson. It could be something you still need to work on yourself. It could be it's very important for you to start learning what Christ consciousness is. There's a reason why Sananda, so you call Christ, is sharing his message in all over the galaxies because this is a message of unification mm -hmm. and depends on which dimension we are at the level of understanding of Christ consciousness is different yeah Yes, yes, absolutely. I love what you say. And it just what just came into my mind is that um, what was his reaction to the dark ones at that time, to the darkness, however we want to call it. He was coming from a place where he was saying, forgive them, Father, because they don't know what they do. So in other words, he was not trying to fight them, to defeat, to defeat them and, and, and get into a battle in any way. He, he was accepting them, embracing them, integrating them and, and rise above that. Yes. This sentence is more of human understanding of the common understanding. What they don't understand means they don't understand they are disconnected to the prime creator. They are in the uh, despair and they are in the uh, understanding that there's no way they can really connect with the prime creator. That's why they're acting that way. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what they don't understand. But what we understand is we all come from the prime creator, including the dark. Right. So it's also up to them what timeline they would like to choose. They can choose to ascend with all of you or they can choose to stay in 3D timeline, which doesn't really exist forever in terms of Earth goes. You mean that uh, eventually the, that timeline will face a destruction or some sort? The timeline will exist in a certain way. But in physical reality of Earth has ascended to 5D. So 
there is always how other timelines unfold in a certain manner. So it's always the choice of everyone. What timeline you like to choose? It is very frustrating when your desired outcome is not in front of you as a physical reality. But you do have to understand that this is the collective timeline shift. Mm. This delay is in a way for the dark to decide whether they like to ascend with all of you or not. Mm -hmm. They are also equally given the opportunity to decide. Mm -hmm. This is why it doesn't end in a way most of you wish to end on the uh, January 20th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I felt what you said recently. I, I, I'm, I'm amazed that you, that you talk about this now. So, it is very important for all of you to have compassion. for those who chose to born into the dark side of the family. Mm -hmm. It's very important for you to ask yourself if you can vibrate in the same way as how you're vibrating right now when you are born into those kind of families mm -hmm. and experiencing the way they have experienced all this Turmoils. And in some way, they also serving the awakening, right? Yes, it is. Everything is serving. Mm. Yeah. Everything is serving. Yeah. But we'll suggest because you are the front line of this journey, it's very important to not to focusing on your television mm -hmm. or social media if that is not uplifting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've seen a big shift already. There are many people who are already not trusting the, the mainstream media anymore. This, I, I see this shift already happening. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's going to continue, right? Until it dissolves completely. It's we the people yeah. that give them the power, that feed them. Because they know social media or television in 5D. <laughs> because everybody can communicate um, they don't need external devices, right? They, they, they use telepathy. No, and also it's uh, not a productive way to spend your time, even though there's no time in 5D, by watching something else instead of doing something makes you feel happy. Mm -hmm. No, I meant, sorry, I meant that... Um, um, Maybe I mean I misunderstood what you what you said before, but uh, my comment was uh, that the beings in in higher dimensions, like in, in 5D, uh, they do not need media because they can in communicate with each other internally, telepathically. Yes, that too. But what we are saying is they don't need entertainment devices. Mm. Because by serving others and doing something makes you feel good is entertaining enough. Yeah. You don't need to fill your void by watching a show. <laughs> yeah. There is um, 
holographic devices we always use uh, to train our crews to getting accustomed to new planet to mm-hmm. serve the mission or when you feel homesick you can um, bring yourself into the holographic image of your planet we have those wow that's awesome. but that is not television or movies mm, 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 mm. i would but like to talk more about that um uh, i would like to perhaps if if you would like to make one video that we that we talk about um your quote-unquote technologies in your world i think people would be very interested to to hear more about we can talk about what we have inside of our ships mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. And um I would also like to um make one future uh video perhaps the same or as two separate ones about um about uh, contact, about ET contact, about how can people um connect to their star families. Yes. Wonderful. This is Aster from Aster Command. We are here to serve all of you. Okay. Alrighty. I hope you guys like the message. And if you guys want to listen to a different message, you can go to youtube.com Angel Dust Productions, or you can put my name and then it's going to show up. Thank you everybody, everyone for watching. Uh, you're gonna find all our links below. Thank you so much, Erica, for bringing through Astar and his absolutely beautiful messages. So Thank nice. you, my pleasure. <laughs> okay, bye everyone.